Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Orm here. Welcome back to Factorio. In the last episode, we set up a couple of new loading areas here to bring in brass and invar using the trains themselves as storage rather than having large warehouses um, because space is a bit of an issue here and I probably should have done it this way for the whole loading system in this area, but so be it. And we used that to upgrade our gun turrets from Mark II's to Mark III. So we are now storing Mark III gun turrets. We're going to be using for constructing new outposts. And then we began work on setting up our blue algae farm that is going to eventually be used to make ammonia. This is a bit of a simpler process uh, to make the ammonia than, than the other one. Uh, the Haberbosch process, which needs metal catalysts. Um, you know, which would require us bringing in more stuff. This only requires us to bring in sulfuric wastewater, which, you know, easy enough to do. Uh, we can make the carbon dioxide on site, so then we'll make the blue algae, we'll turn it into blue cellulose, turn the blue cellulose into ammonia, and then take the nitric acid and the ammonia to make ammonium nitrate, and yeah, we're going to need iron, aren't we? We're not doing iron, we're also going to need basic electronic boards for our rockets. Now, actually, do we... What's the difference between the rockets and the explosive rockets? 200 explosion damage on the basic rocket. The explosive rockets do 50 explosion damage with an area of effect of 100 explosion damage. So these do more direct explosive damage, whereas these have an AOE blast. I would think I would prefer to have them as AOEs. So we're going to make the explosive rockets. That's fine. Cannon turret shell. Takes coal and shotgun shells. Interesting. Cannon shell. Hmm. So. We'll get to that. Okay, so actually we're going to need more brought in. But yeah, it still would have required even more stuff to do it the other way. We need some iron and we need basic electronic boards. Um, I don't think I have anywhere where the basic electronic boards, boards are being located or loaded onto a train at all. No, I don't. They're in the system for passive provider chests. So I could fly them over with bots. That's probably what we're going to do. We'll probably fly those over with bots. That's fine. Uh, the alternative is we we basically branch off of this this line here, and we we bring them down. You know what? That's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. This is actually not that far away. I thought it was further away than that. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. 
I'll just put a splitter on there and then bring that bring that down through here. Alright. Piece of cake. But let's go ahead and get something running here, and then we will not gonna be able to do it that way. We'll figure out what we're gonna do about the iron. Needs to come over here. Yes. So I think we're going to want to. Over here. Oh, right, that doesn't work. or is that? Hmm. A random underground pipe lane there. I'm hoping that isn't like a pipe that I removed and it had intended to move somewhere and never actually did. Like, what's this pipe here for? Oh, that's nitric acid. But it's empty. Why is it empty? Because we're out of nitric acid. And where's the train? Is it waiting in queue for nitric acid? That's one going to a mine. We appear to be having a bit of an issue. All right. I'm going to have to, well, let's just get this running and then we'll go solve that problem and then we'll figure it out from there. All right. All right. All right. Fine. There's always problems that need troubleshooting. Actually, let's do it this way. I really would like to get this running at least.
All right, let's go figure out what's going on with our nitric acid. Why is everything running so slow? And is there anything that I can do to fix it? Oh, we've got a bunch of bots on me. Um, I think there's anything else that needs to get put away. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We don't want to do that. All right. I'll worry about that later. All right, take that stuff off my hands. Thank you. Let's head over to, I think the issue is with mineralized water. No, the issue is with nitric wastewater. Nitric wastewater. These guys are all running a good speed. We're not, um, we're gonna, we're getting overloaded here. Um, lead is full up. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with that. not processing that lead very fast. We're not consuming it very fast either. Yeah, See, there's lead. Okay. So, alternative options. Alternative options for making nitric acid, because we're going to need more of it, apparently. We take sodium nit- oh, that is what we're doing, right? We're taking sodium nitrate and sulfuric acid and we're making nitric acid? 
Is that what we're doing? No. We're making sodium nitrate. We're combining it with compressed air to make sodium nitrate to nit So we can directly make nitric acid this way. But that would consume our sulfuric acid. We don't necessarily want to do that. Alright. Is there any better way to get nitrogen dioxide gas? The sodium nitrate method. Oxygen... Okay. Is there a better way to get sodium nitrate? There's only one way to get sodium nitrate. So the only other method... Well, the thing is, that also needs sodium nitrate, does it not? It does. And currently the only way that we have to get sodium nitrate is from nitric waste. There's gotta be another way to get sodium nitrate. Salt. Saline water. We can create nitrogen monoxide gas out of green metal catalyst, and ammonia gas, and oxygen gas makes nitrogen monoxide gas. We can ignite nitrogen dioxide from nitrogen monoxide and then we can make nitrogen, nitrogen monoxide from this. Okay. I am going to need some more chemical plants. And I am not standing in the logistics network. And I don't have my truck. I can make 13 threes. Let's make 10 of them. Okay. If we go to a three and we go to computing by factory and we say we have one of these, one, 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 and we produce 68.8 nitric, nitric acid per second. Hmm. 
green metal catalyst is made from aluminum ore and silver ore. That is absolutely doable. And I think it's really our only option. So. We need to route some aluminum and silver down here. To make... Nitrogen monoxide to go into this whole process, right? And we have plenty of oxygen gas, do we not? We're probably going to need more. A lot more oxygen gas. These guys aren't running. Okay. Um... Let's upgrade you guys to the Mark Threes. Let's upgrade you guys to the Mark Threes. That will give me a few more Mark Threes that I can actually make. And let's go. Oh, we, we really need to get like the logistics network all the way over here. We need what? Aluminum and silver, yes? Manganese, copper, tin... Zinc, nickel, silver, and aluminum. Perfect. enough of these to get all the way through Done. Okay. We're almost almost there. And here's where we're going to turn them south. Could have probably put them on a single belt, but that's fine.
you need to move out of the way. That's what we need to do there. We need a little bit more. I actually know what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do it this way. So we need one of these and we need two inputs and what you're going to be doing I know I have catalyst carriers in the network but I'm going to have to make some All right, so what we're going to then need is we're going to need a chemical plant. And you are going to be making green metal catalysts, ammonia, and oxygen. Here's oxygen. Now we need ammonia from somewhere. Where are the catalyst carriers? Where are the catalyst carriers? Be able to should be able to make them. On. There they are. Give me three of those. They make ten each. Okay. Now, ammonia. We should have a process over here, making ammonia. And I, in fact, set this up because I knew we were probably going to need it from somewhere. And let's actually upgrade you to a Mark III factory. Then let's pull our ammonia gas in this direction. Question's gonna be is one going to be enough? There we go. Of 
Perfect. That is well balanced for one. Okay, we're now full up on nitrogen monoxide gas. I should let these guys run at full steam. Excellent. I'll let you guys run at full steam. Now let's just make sure that oxygen gas is going to be fine. Because we have some of these that are still not running. Yeah, and we're fine on oxygen gas. I could probably always upgrade these guys to the threes. If needed. And that would increase their output. Now, the other question is, do we have enough purified water? Um, we'll see, that might be then the next uh, link in the chain that breaks. Um, Because we, we need the mines running. We need the mines running. How is the mine doing as far as nitric acid? We're still okay. This train's almost full. See, this is making nitrogen dioxide gas from our nitrogen monoxide. Actually, in reality, what we should be doing is instead of piping it directly in there, what we should be doing is connecting it like that into the tank. That way we can actually store it. Yes. Excellent. This produces slightly more nitrogen monoxide than nitrogen dioxide. So what we're probably actually going to need over here as well is an overflow valve. And that doesn't give us enough room. sure that things keep running. And let's just make sure that that's not putting an undue strain on our ammonia gas. Doesn't look like it.
Good. Alright, and then that is where we are going to have to stop for today. And then we'll have to get back. To working on the armory. Uh, next episode. making ammonia here. There's the nitric acid that we need, so. Alright. But yeah, we'll work on that for next episode. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.